Well, my name's Mark Robinson. I am, have a background as a stand-up comedian and a magician, but I make my living now as a motivational speaker. I take topics like sales and customer service and leadership and make them fun and energize them for my corporate customers. But I'm frequently asked to speak on communication. And when, I, when they ask me that, I always say, you don't want me to speak on communication. You want me to speak on listening. Everybody can talk, right? <laughs> So 90% of the failures in communication happen on the listening side. I'll give you an example of this. These are three easy questions, and if you just help me out, everybody kind of chant the answers out together. What is the color of this piece of paper? White. What do cows drink? Milk. No, they drink water. We drink milk. <laughs> Nobody's really listening. That's my point. This happens especially when you're maybe in a leadership position or you know a lot more about the topic than they do and you're ready to tell them, tell them, tell them. You could have somebody giving you grief at work and for all you know, they got a problem at home that they're bringing to work and you're missing all the cues because you're too busy talking. I was talking to a friend about the same thing. He was talking about the letter, um, oh shoot. What do you call the raised lettering that deaf people use? Brain. Yeah, it's blind people, not deaf people. <laughs> Nobody's listening. <laughs> And why does this happen? Because the moment you hear me say raised lettering, you know the answer. You don't need to listen to me anymore. You tune me out and we've missed the most valuable information we need to help somebody. The best salespeople, the best customer service people, the best leadership people are the best listeners. After each show, I am usually asked by somebody to go, hey, would you teach me a trick that I can show my kid or my grandson or whoever. I now teach a trick in the show and I like to use the person who knows more than anybody. And that is uh, my phone. I have Siri on mine. I don't know who you have on yours. Siri literally knows everything. So I thought I would show you how easy it is to learn a trick. I'm gonna turn the Bluetooth on so you can hear through the speakers, hopefully. Hello, Siri. Hello, Mark. Can you teach me a magic trick? Did you say teach me a magic trick? Yes. Okay, I will teach you a magic trick using objects in your vicinity. What objects do you have nearby? I have a cloth napkin, a banana, a Perfect. piece of... All right. We will use the cloth napkin and the bandana. Cloth napkin, banana. Perfect. Pick up the bandana. Let's just roll with it. And fold it in half. <laughs> That's right. Fold it in half. <laughs> now fold it one more time. <laughs> now hide the folded bandana in your hand. <laughs> Remember to look natural. Now we are ready to begin. Open the folded bandana. <laughs> Show the audience it's a regular bandana by waving it up and down. <laughs> if an audience member does not believe it's a real bandana, allow him to wipe his face on it. You're good. Pick up the cloth napkin and gather the four corners, forming a makeshift bag. Fold the bandana along the creases you made earlier. <laughs> and drop it into the makeshift bag. From the outside of the napkin, squeeze the bandana into a small ball. <laughs> what the audience didn't see is that you never put the bandana into the bag at all. <laughs> you kept it hidden in your hand. <laughs> now make a magical gesture over the bag. 
for the big finale, fling open the napkin, and receive your well-deserved applause.